we are at a crossroad whereby energy production and consumption is in itself being blamed partly for climate change. The question is, what do we do then? Do we stop seeking energy? Of course not. This calls for us to be innovative. Many times we fail to see that external aid is not the only solution. We need to change our story. We need to make in order to break. Restrict not our thinking based on our lack. Many people know me as the boy who invented a radio station. From scrap, a generator which I built to power up my radio station. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like us to take a look at my sensational video on YouTube. My name is Kelvin Do, and I am an inventor. I'm from Sierra Leone. I live in the city called Freetown. When I was 11, I started picking up scrap electronic items from trash areas. I realized with scrap, I could still make things work, like my battery, an FM radio station. People normally call me DJ Focus in my community because I believe if you focus, you can do invention um, perfectly. When it was posted on YouTube, so many people watched my video and they were so impacted about my story, my invention. People sent in a lot of good comments and I was so delighted about it. The inspirational effect of the original Thinker YouTube video has been remarkable. It has had a tremendous amount of impact on Kelvin's life, on my life, and on millions of people all around the world, everywhere. In Sierra Leone, where other young people suddenly feel like they can be like Kelvin. After the video, with all the press and with all the media, great, great opportunities have become available to Kelvin. One of them was the TEDx Teen community, and they reached out to us and invited Kelvin to be one of the speakers. Um, and we are very, very excited about this presentation, and I'm very proud of him. Uh, he's doing things that we never imagined he, he will be doing. When I arrived at the hotel, a man stopped me and said to me that, I saw you, I saw you on YouTube, and I was like, <laughs> I could not believe it. Elevator straight through the center of the lobby, and then here, Edgar, will be able to assist you upstairs. Thank you. Enjoy Thank your you. stay, all the best. Thank you, sir. Whoa. I've never stayed in an hotel before. This is my first time. <laughs> the bed is so soft, and it's good. This is the, the, the gorilla I met on the bed. I don't like it. <laughs> I had done a Google search and somehow Kelvin's YouTube video came up and before I had gotten through half of it, I was already tweeting David Senge, his mentor here in the States, to try and get contact information. When I'm putting together a conference, I need to make sure that every walk of life is represented and I really wanted to find a youth that had invented something or had that kind of imagination that took something normal and made it extraordinary. And obviously Kelvin's story spoke volumes to that. It takes me two weeks to prepare my presentation. This is my first time talking to a lot of people, so I feel a little bit nervous. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited, so much excited. I feel so good because I want the audience to learn from it and also to always follow their passion. Right, like you don't even have to worry. I think you got it down. You're yeah. gonna be like the, the best guy on stage, okay? Excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Excited, like ready to go? <laughs> Our next speaker 
Kelvin Doe, is also someone who refused to see limitations and who took what he could find and reimagined something that probably did indeed seem impossible. And he's now not only having an impact on his community, but having great resonance around the world. Kelvin. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Kelvin Do, AKA DJ Focus. <laughs> I was born on the 26th of October, 1996. I am a proud Sarah Union. I live in a small community town in Freetown called Wazak Farm. I am the youngest in a family of five children. I was raised up single-handedly by my mother. Our resilience and self-belief made it possible for me to be alive today. My creative instincts were always present, even as a little kid. At the age of 11, I started picking up scrap electronic items from trash areas on my way home because I was too poor to afford new parts. And once I got the part that I want, I would go to bed at around 7 p.m. and I would wake up after midnight when everybody was asleep. <laughs> my mother would wake up most nights to see our living room transform into a small electronic scrapyard. <laughs> and she would insist that I go back to bed. <laughs> I ended up building a three-channel mixer, a sound amplifier, and a microphone receiver. Putting all of these together, I discovered I had built a music set. I soon became a DJ, and I took the name DJ Focus. <laughs> DJ Focus. <laughs> I started playing music for people in my community, and I will normally DJ like this. Stand up, the great philosopher in the building, baby. <laughs> it's the biggest, the hottest, the famous DJ in the old municipality. Kicking the again, banging. This is the biggest heavy we to It's still in the making, baby. It's the nation pride. Beyond your imagination, it's the most wanted DJ. I and I DJ man focus. <laughs> At the age of 14, I started thinking about what I could do that could be bigger than my music set. It came to me that I can make my own radio station and become a DJ there. It was tough and hard. I spent many frustrating nights, trying and failing. But nevertheless, I persevered until I completed the project. Then the film started. The national television station in Sierra Leone soon heard about what I had done and put me on air for a live demonstration. Then an amazing opportunity came to me and I became the youngest visiting practitioner at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. <laughs> David Sanger, the founder of Global Minimum and Innovate Salon, got Tinker to do a video of my story, which was um, later posted on YouTube. At the latest count, this video has had more than 4.1 million viewers. Somebody mentioned to me that my video was even more popular than that of President Obama's victory speech. <laughs> <laughs> After um, his election, which had 2.9 million viewers. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> yeah. Since then, my story has been carried on news channels around the world, and I am greatly humbled and delighted by this. And if I'm asked to summarize the lessons of my life so far, there is one thing that I will say. Creativity is universal and can be found in places where one does not expect to find it. And perseverance and passion are essential to nurturing that creative ability. So now that you know my own story, I urge you to look for young people with talent, creative abilities, and passion in all places. Not just in places you might expect to find it, 
And I ask you to support these young people, just as so many people have supported me. You never know, you might find the next DJ Focus. Thank you. <laughs> As from what you saw in the video, poverty is one thing, but education is everything. I survived and surpassed poverty because I educated myself. This allowed me to push my innovative mind beyond the norm, and here we are. Who would have believed at age 14 I would see America? or even travel with my mom to visit the White House. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to change the narrative of Africa, for if we do not, no one will. <laughs> clean energy by now is not a new concept, but what is the use of clean energy to the family who wakes up every day merely to survive. For them, deforestation has become a survival norm. The need for fire to cook, Maslow's hierarchy of needs said so. With that, we see a new challenge. Before we can move to the stage of innovation, we need to have an achieved level of survival and security. It is also vital to understand the big picture. Today, companies both break through with Tesla's theory, but yet still, implementation is still restricted. On one side, we push innovation. On the other side, we fear it. The reason being, innovation will also mean billions lost and cured by conventional energy produced in companies. Imagine the impact if tomorrow we be able to globalize clean energy. Will this news be welcomed by oil producing nations? That being the case, it goes without saying that clean energy is not good news for everyone. Innovations need to be applied, literally, if Tesla's theory is amazing for the latest supercars. Why should it not be used also to build a wonderful super generator which will once and for all power up Africa. Climate change, the thorn which has remained for many years. Again, how committed is everyone? Conferences, dialogues, tricks, yet we seem to be going around in circles. We need to change, we need to clearly understand what we are working on. The role of organizations like ADB, United Nations, the World Bank, should be rather to facilitate innovation. What you're seeing now is just an example. Join me in supporting my inventions, and let's create the platform for other young people. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Kevin Doe. I made it before I could break it. So can you. Thank you very much.